All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be watching The Boys Season 3, Episode 7. 7. Okay. <sighs> the last episode was Herogasm, and now that was an amazing episode. Specifically, the last part of the episode. You know, like, when they finally got Homelander, like, they was just an insane fight. We were this goddamn close to getting him, but he's just so goddamn strong. He barely got out at the end right there. It took all of his strength just to get out of there, you know? And that was great. That was a very good scene. Now, I mean, I'm kind of curious to see how Homelander's going to go about things now that he he's aware that he can be killed. Like, he came very close to dying right there. So he's, he's clearly aware. His ego got crushed a little bit right there. Now, I'm curious to see if Soldier Boy is going to try and go after the rest of the team. Like, he has Nor. As far as I know, only Nor still alive. I'm pretty sure the rest of the team is dead now. It's just Nor now. I'm curious to see if he's gonna try and go after him, or if he's like, yeah, that Homelander guy. Fuck that guy. I'm, I'm, we're gonna kill him. He's my main focus now. We'll see. We'll see. But I feel like Homelander's just gonna avoid them. He's gonna do every. He's gonna try his absolute best to avoid them. Maybe they go to the Vault Tower. You know, Butcher, Huey, Soldier Boy. They go to the Vault Tower to just press him immediately. You know, cause like we were this close. We're, and we know he's going to be at the Vault Tower, so maybe. Like, they give it some time and sneak up on him, something. You know, I feel like that's the only way we're going to catch him, because, like, we could do it. We can do it. It's not going to be easy, but we can do it. You know, but Mother's Milk and Starlight... Mother's Milk is pretty pissed at uh, Butcher, and Starlight's pretty pissed at Huey for very understandable reasons. You know, they crossed each other pretty hard. Like, Huey and Butcher crossed Mother's Milk and Starlight pretty bad, so yeah so i understand it's very sad to see honestly but and then i'm also wondering if queen Maeve is alive because it's like she was sent to rehab or whatever so i'm i'm praying she's still alive dude i'm praying but anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that will be available on patreon as well early access to not not to the next two episodes but only to the next one because we are on the last two episodes just got seven and eight left comment comment down below what you think i should watch next for a tv show uh i'm th i'm still kind of thinking about it what we should do next after the boys so if you have any suggestions let me know but anyways let's get started miss barrett your reaction mm -hmm. oh yeah that's right i forgot to mention in the intro that starlight told went on instagram live and just totally called out soldier boy and homelander said soldier boy still alive and homelander is a piece of shit so is she trying to change the subject from what her ties with this woman a known terrorist with the Shining Light Liberation Army. Shake my head. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're trying to cover it up. What are you watching? Old mistakes. <laughs> Soldier Boy did to singing what pantyhose did to finger fucking. Yeah. Yeah. Soldier Boy was a hero, right? I mean, Don Normandy. <laughs> yeah, he did. Two weeks after D Day. Oh. <laughs> wow. Some target practice at Kent State. <sighs> there were rumors about Daily Plaza. Wait, Kent State? I some shit happened at Kent State one time. I don't remember it exactly, but I know that was a that was a jab at Kent State. I don't remember exact. I I remember hearing about it, but I don't remember exactly. Is he still there? What the fuck? Wow. You got a minute? Oh, good. Lou? Huh? Come on, I can't go in raw. Please don't. Wow. What's the problem? What's the problem? First of all, I can never fire those girls now. Thank you. And second of all, mm. the deal was we get the rest of my team, then we get Homeland. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, he's still focused on his team, I guess. Mindstorm's a paranoid fuck. All right, we're going after Mindstorm. Does he take meds for it? I believe so. At least he did. Cabins and we... And then check the local pharmacies. Yeah. Okay. Nice one, Huey. Good job, Huey. Give me a high five. Okay, I mean, I figured that, like, after Homelander, after meeting him and fighting him, he'd want to just, he'd be so focused on him. Be like, nah, I don't care about the rest of my team. I'm going after him first, you know, but nah. Oh, okay, there's Maeve. Literally in jail. Is that concealer? Yeah, she knows. Do you have a bruise? Like, oh, did he beat your fucking ass? <laughs> Why are you letting me live? If you don't, I would never force myself on you. But I am going to harvest your eggs. Wow. So you're gonna have a game. God forbid you do die. Whether by accident or choice, you'll die knowing that the very best of you carries on. Wow. 
Alright, so he can just reproduce the best superhero kid. I'm not letting you live. I'm keeping you alive. Wow. This is still a top three day. Because today is the day I saw you scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he's definitely scared. All you gotta know is, if he tries to make eye contact with you, close your eyes. Okay. Or what? Just don't make eye contact with him. What, you got nothing to worry about. Or what, he'll scramble our brain or something, because his name's Mindstorm. Cause a storm in our mind. I don't know. Yeah, I saw it in Aerogasm. That's why he keeps blowing the fuck out of everything. He's radioactive, highly traumatized, and heavily self-medicated. Yes. Feels good. Feels right. Tell me about it. <laughs> I mean, what sad bastard self-medicates like that, eh? <laughs> so funny because they're doing the V. <laughs> oh, here's Nor. I really hope they don't get Nor, dude. I want him to survive. We're gonna have to t -t 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 talk about it. Mhm. Mm Confront your demons. And you hid in that ball pit right over there. After you p p p p paralyzed Lewis Frankel. Damn. You can't hide from Soldier Boy. Mhm. Mm but he'll probably die if you see him. Try and fight him. We'll get you through this too. I feel like Nor just has like the spirit of like a seven year old kid. <laughs> it's so funny. That's why his subconscious is talking through him through cartoons. Oh, he's mad at them. <laughs> What'd you say? What? What? Hmm. I didn't say shit. You hear hearing stuff? Bro, he's fucking. I'd be, yeah, you scared he can snap. Your brain's leaking. Oh, shit. Ew. Oh, yeah, 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 that, Huey did the, um, same thing kind of happened to Huey. It's like a side effect of the, oh, shit. Same thing happened to Huey in the last episode. Like, I think it came out of his nose, but this time it came out of Butcher's ear. Oh, shit. Mm. Oh, he's giving you all your past memories. Relive a nightmare. Wait, I saw a kid in the, those flashes. Was he about to relive uh, Lenny's death? Wake up, butcher! Butcher! Wake up! No, you're wasting your time. He's what? gone. What did my storm do? What do you mean? Oh, trapped him in an endless nightmare until he dies of terminal dehydration. No, there's gotta wow. be a way we can wake him up. Bro, no, we're gonna wake him up. He can snap him out. Okay, Fuck. great, great. So but he's about to be dead. Wait, just, just. No, bro, bro, we no. <laughs> Storm, we make him help Butcher, no and then and then you can kill him. Then you can go to town on him, man. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Slap you like I'm Connery. Now, unless you want to... He's making all these references that I don't understand. Probably because they're from the 30s and 40s. You help me finish this, I'll kill Homelander. Butcher had given up his life for that in a heartbeat. Bro, you're not strong enough to kill him by yourself, okay? Leave it. Uh, we gotta move fast. No, bro, we're saving Butcher. I don't, know. I don't care. Which is not gonna die like that. I don't care. <clears throat> might wanna lay off the weed, huh? And you might wanna gargle my ball sack. <laughs> it's a pretty OP power, honestly. Yeah, that has to be Lenny right there. Yep. Sees Huey as Lenny. It's Butcher and Lenny right there. Lenny? Yeah, it's Butcher's dad. Oh, yeah, you can't do anything. You're invisible, basically. Fuck me. Abusive, an abusive dad. Let's see why he doesn't like his dad. Ah, ah, uh, yeah. This is where all Butcher's rage comes comes from. Oh no. I feel bad for Butcher, dude. I see why he is the way he is. I think this is a texture. Mm. It's not mm. wrong. What is it then? Okay. Well, let's find out. See, this is why we need a Frenchie, okay? But he was off doing his own thing. He knows exactly what that is, you know? He knows exactly what they get soldier boy. Knock him out. Oh, sh oh, that's. That is. If he doesn't die. Is there anything else that you need? Are you hungry? Oh, Whoa. <laughs> fine <laughs> choice. Yeah. <laughs> when you grow up in Iowa, there is not much else to do. Here. Mm -hmm. 
That's fair. That's valid. Same for Fresno, California. <laughs> Thank God I don't live there. <laughs> what do you do about Huey? He doesn't want to be safe. He wants justice. I need your help. Compound V, the permanent stuff. She wants it back. She wants more. No, I want more. I, can't go. I want my powers back, yeah. It's better safe to, than sorry to have her powers, you know? You could get yourself killed. That's true, too. Because when you take it as an adult, it could kill you. You know, that's why they're given as babies. But, I mean, she already had it, technically, so... Maybe. Guess now that she doesn't have any powers, it might not. It could kill her this time, since she's clean. It's like better safe than sorry. It's like better safe than sorry to have him. You, just in case you might need them, you know? You're on a mission. You get the job done. Okay? I stormed Normandy. I fought the Nazis. Two weeks later, bro. <laughs> Two weeks later, bro. Because I'm not a fucking pussy. Bro, you're literally invincible. Even if you wouldn't die by the Nazis <laughs> or on D-Day. You didn't storm shit. Yeah, you didn't. It's fucking crap. Mm-hmm. And I oh shit! I warned you. All right, but like, yeah, even if like he did do all that, if he actually did, he's literally fucking invincible. He would, he would be completely fine. Yeah, you got us this far. Just relax. Oh, I feel like Cassandra is a very big help. She's she did most of the work for the deep. Mm -hmm. I know that you love me too. I, th I think it's just because you killed the fucking priest, and so that's that's why she did that. Black and white and red all over. Jesus Christ, newspaper, but but that too, but that too. Oh yeah. <laughs> days and still nothing but lies from bots. Oh. She opened the Starlight House for runaway teens. No, this isn't really working. They are never seen again. It's horrific. We gotta face it. Yeah, bro, you're not that good at this. No one believes you. Plain and simple. She fooled me. I mean, they kind of do. Right now. But Newman knows how fucking bullshit this is. I mean, like his simps believe him, but that's really. Oh, he's not actually here. He's just seeing that, you know, because he's. That's how scared he is. Yeah, it's just some dude. Love you. All right, I got the fuck out of here. Newman noticed that. Damn. He looks so scared. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 I know what he's... <laughs> we're back to the milk. <laughs> I thought we were past this. <laughs> Wait, you know what's actually funny? Wait, not this shot, but... And that actually might be the shot. But my, I, I'm in a fantasy football league, and my profile picture is a shot of him drinking milk in the barn. So it's from this episode. I didn't know which episode it was from, but now we get to see. So that's pretty cool. You think uh, I'm not in control? No. No. You're Homelander, button your shit up. You're flailing this whole fucking scene right here. Just oh shit. I mean, bro, she's trying to hype you up, but I mean, like, yeah, you're kind. Of I got rid of Edgar for you. Mm -hmm. That cost me a lot. I mean, she was basically saying, stop being a bitch and, you know. With one small favor. Hmm. And I hope you. What, what does it say? Where did you get this? Yeah, he looks shocked. Oh, it's A-Train. Okay, okay. He didn't die. Yeah, he looked like he was breathing when he collapsed. What happened? A little bit. You almost died. That's what happened. I mean, how Soldier Boy attacked you and Blue Hawk at Hero Gasm. Oh, yeah, that's what we're gonna say happened. Murder Blue Hawk right in mm. front of you. You tried to save Blue Hawk, which is why you're gonna love this. Blue Hawk will live on because we gave you his heart. No, no, no. Did we actually do that? Or. <laughs> Abled heart. No more heart disease. You're gonna no, get to run bro. again. Can I get a what? What? I mean, that's. Bro, that's that sounds great, but like that's horrible. That the fact it was him, like you're okay talking shit about Starlight. Yeah, sure, dude. Yeah, sure. 
know when a track coach, we're thinking Tom Hanks, teaches you a more civilized way. Wow. <gasps> That's, that sounds fucking horrible. Evan, my brother's my coach. We're out to Sir Julian Fellows to write, so. No, I'm not doing that. You're gonna love it. Anyway, I gotta bounce. But the A train's back, baby! <laughs> I mean, okay, I guess he actually has a heart, a new heart, got a heart transplant, so he can run again. But the fact that it's Blue Hawk's fucking heart, that's horrible, dude. That could just be for like the story, but I'm sure they actually did it too. Like that's fucking horrible. Oh, he just got an idea. What, steam? It's not like that. Vapor, vapor, just a delivery system. Okay. Like this. You think I can read this shit? Novichok? Another vacation to Russia. Fuck. I really don't want to go back. Dude. Motherfucker. Yeah. I mean, like, okay, I, obviously I don't care if we go to Russia in the show, but, like, from their perspective, it's just like, fuck, I don't want to go. I would not be in the mood to go to Russia. Oh. Kimiko's so precious. I love how they just have a picture of Obama in the back. <laughs> like, that feels so random. Mm hmm. But now right. it's my choice. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, there you go. The V isn't good or bad. It just depends on the person using it. Oh, yeah, 100%. Mm -hmm. You fight for the ones I love. Oh. And she needs to fight for you. I almost lost Frenchie because I couldn't fight. Oh. I can risk that again. Oh. Hell yeah. Oh. We kissed. It was weird. <laughs> Not because it felt bad. It didn't. Because we're more than that. You are my family now. Okay, I get what you're saying, but are you friend zoning me right here? <laughs> I want to protect my family. Alright, I mean, like, that's very sincere, but I think she just friend zoned him. <laughs> like, now there's no more intimacy between them, probably. She just family zoned him. I'm surprised Starly even made it in here. Damn. I mean. Oh shit. Just a child, but they're convinced he'll be stronger than Soldier Boy. And. Talk about Homelander. Go along. Everyone but Gunpowder. Good luck, Irving. Can you please. Irving, that's his name. Me. I'm allergic. Yeah. Oh, dick. Give him over to the Russians. Fuck is this? Something yeah. we should have done a long time ago. Yeah. Because we're going to replace him with Homelander. But Homelander is probably just as bad. Probably, if not worse. Hard for Nor to remember this, you know. Like, I heard... makes him flinch thinking about it, you know. Back of his head. <laughs> oh shit! Fuck you, motherfucker! <laughs> you need to uh, face him. You'll die if you face him. But we know how uh -huh. s sensitive and s scared you are. Oh. Bravery isn't having no fear. Bravery is having fear. And doing it anyway. D do it anyway. Yep. Just like Rob Stark said his dad said one time. <laughs> I mean, bro, Nora, I... Like, uh, I don't want Nora to die, bro. I really don't. Fuck out the car. What's oh, wrong? You're in the house with your mama. And then he's to talk to Todd alone. And then talk to Todd and be like, stop bringing her around Homelander. Ask Todd, Soldier Boy is out there gunning for Homelander. Yeah. <laughs> Starlight is making all that up. Read any news outside the establishment media. Todd, oh my bro. They're lying. Really? All of them? All of them. Fucking psychopath. Worse than Starlight. She's trafficking. Oh. He, yeah, of course he, yeah. I mean, like, he believes it, but it's so impressionable and gullible. Because he's obsessed with Homelander. Detailing, you're too fucking stupid and, and brainwashed to fucking see it. Hey, mm -hmm. You know what? If you want to risk your life, fine. But don't risk my daughters. But my baby girl. Yeah. You're not her father. Someone's got to be. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, he deserves that. He deserved that. 100%. Fuck Todd. 
but you know she, she might be scared of him that he did that here she is did you think i wouldn't know <laughs> march into vnn studios and you're gonna recant everything you said it was a tragedy. Oh, no, I, no, I'm not doing that. But your lies have caused Bot or me. But no, he wants her me to... in particular. Yeah. Good. Okay. But um, you want to hear my counter? I stopped. So here's my counter. <laughs> right here. Here's the thing. I'm not scared of you anymore. I saw it. Mm-hmm. I saw it the night that you killed Supersonic. You know what I remember from that night? Mm -hmm. I remember what I told you would happen to Huey. Mm. Hey, well, Huey's a soldier boy, so, so good luck with that. Good luck with that. Holds my 190 oh. million followers. I'm still pretty famous. Hey! Oh. <gasps> That's a power move. That's a power move. Oh my god. That is a power move. Jesus. And she got him to admit to and he tried to cover up, you know, like, you know, you're not supposed to be recording when we're practicing lines or covering lines, you know. Like, ah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Well, if you look into his eyes through the, through the mirror, does that count? Oh shit, good stuff. Teleport. Back in my neck, I can explain, okay? <laughs> you're a soldier boy. You're trying to fucking kill me. No, no. No, I'll let you live. Help my boy and I'll let you live. I'm gonna open my eyes, all right? Please don't call on me. Bro, I would just like, I'd look to the side. I'd be looking at his shoulders and like chest, you know? Please wake up, my friend. Mm -hmm. I've been inside his head. That guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I don't want to be someone who leaves people behind. I want to be someone who saves his family. Aww. And for better or worse, sees Butcher's family. His family. Yeah. And I will never tell a soul where that is. Hand to God. I believe you. I don't think he would. I would tell anyone, you know. I would take that deal, dude. I would have to. Butcher might kill him as soon as he wakes up, though. No goodbye, uh, nothing like that. I'll be back Christmas. Oh, Once no. I've got everything sorted at the barracks, you can... Yeah, they'll leave, uh, Lenny. Please don't leave me alone with him. Uh... It's probably... All, it's probably the last time you ever saw Lenny. He probably dies when he's not... Yeah, I... He won't. If I stay, I'll get listen to it. I'm gonna end up the most. So maybe if I'm gone, he'll leave you be. No. Be fucking twat. Don't you leave him! He's gonna take his anger out on Lenny next. For fuck's sake, Lenny! <laughs> It ain't my job to look after you. Don't be such a fucking puff all your life. God damn it, dude. This is probably Butcher's biggest regret. Please. Like, Lenny need. Uh, yeah, Lenny needs a Butcher more than anything. And he's abandoning him. And then, I'm, I'm guessing Butcher's dad, like, tweaks on Lenny one day. And since Lenny's, you know, a smaller kid, can't really stand up for himself is just a nice kid you know he just ends up killing him sees butcher you served me up to him on a plate it's been six months and you came to check on me not once oh no oh wait does lenny kill himself because anyone who's ever loved you you end up getting them killed don't you sad truth no <laughs> ah lenny dude lenny <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, now he's he's gonna love Huey with all, as much as he can and do everything to protect him. He won't make the same mistake again. He'll never leave Huey. Deal's a deal. Where are we headed? Oh my! Mm, Soldier Boy made it back. I was gonna say like he was pretty far away, but not that far away, I guess. Hey, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> He's gonna be pissed at you for taking him here too. Yeah, yeah, see? All right, Butcher, now you gotta stand up for Huey. Oh, hell no, Butcher's not letting that slide. Oh, well, we need Soldier Boy. Yeah, we need Soldier Boy for Homelander. It's not what you think. It wasn't my idea. Oh, I know. It was Noir's, but how's that work, mm -hmm. huh? Oh, they gave him the green light. Why would they do that? Because he fucking hates you, that's why. What? That's impossible. Damn. 
Yeah, he's so pissed at Huey. What'd he say? Here's Butcher with all that remorse. I was just in the lab. It causes lesions. Okay. Oh no. Into fucking Swiss cheese. So ah, no, 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 no. How many doses have you taken? I think by count three. I, that's what the paper said. It said three to five. Butcher. You know. Three to five doses kills you. Yeah. You need to tell Huey. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, I will. So we can never take it again at this point. Back every five minutes until. Damn, he's hung up. Holy shit. Three to five doses kills us. I think we've taken... Maybe Butcher's probably taken five and Huey's taken like four. Butcher, you have to tell Huey. Everything all right? It's, uh... Got some pretty bad news. We've got to swing by the office and get some more. Oh, fuck. And then you, me... I'm grinning, fucker. I gotta finish this fucking job. Yeah, fuck yeah. Uh, no, Butcher, you can't do that. After that flashback with Lenny, how are you gonna do that? Like, did you not learn? Like, I get you really want to kill Homelander that bad, but like, dog, one more dose and we're dead. Maybe Butcher's willing to die if it means killing Homelander too. Okay, now like, what's gonna happen? Is he gonna kill her? Because we saw Newman give Compound V to her little stepsister, I think it was. And her entire back was just mutating, you know, because she's already like 12, 13, so she's already grown a bit, a lot of bit. You know, they give it to them as babies so they can grow up with it. Because uh, it never showed us what happened with Newman and that, and that girl. Just like cut away after. Watch her have completely different powers. I don't know, she's healed. Obviously, I didn't okay. realize the little bitch was recording me, did <laughs> He says he's... Well, he's claiming to be Soldier Boy. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is this in Homelander's head, or is it actually Soldier Boy? Is this really you? The situation's changed. I thought mm -hmm. we should have a conversation. I don't know. It is him. House I used. June. Danielle Deneau. Bush like a Pomeranian. What? I beat my meat. <laughs> <laughs> Vogelbaum made a kid. Born no. spring, 1981. That was you. If they'd have just kept me around, I'd have let you take the spotlight. Oh, wow. The father wouldn't want that for his son. Wow, he's trying to father him right now. He's just straight up fathered Hope Lander. Damn. All right, so that was episode seven. All right, so with that end scene right there, yeah, Soldier Boy is Homelander's fucking dad. Okay, that's a goddamn twist. So that must be what Mindstorm told him right there, right? And okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. I That's literally what I thought he meant by that, but then I second guessed myself and I was like, no, there's no way. Like, there's no way that's a twist. That's the twist. There's no way. And so I was kind of like, when he said what father wouldn't want that for his son, I thought he meant, okay, well, Vogelbaum wouldn't want his son Homelander to die. So, you know, all they had to do was tell Soldier Boy that, hey, we're just going to put Homelander here, you know, so Soldier Boy wouldn't feel the need to kill him or whatever, right? And so I kind of just automatically jumped to that conclusion in my head because I was like, nah, I definitely heard it wrong. You know, honestly, not even going to lie, because of Game of Thrones and like House of the Dragon, like, I think I hear it right, but then, so like I go and say what I thought I heard and it's just completely wrong. So I'm starting, like, I'm starting to second guess myself and like what I think I hear a lot. So that's why I thought, okay, Soldier Boy being Homelander's dad, no, there's no way, there's no way. But you know, I did hear it right, so that's good. But, well, that's crazy because so what the hell is Soldier Boy gonna do with Butcher and Huey now? Is he gonna try and kill Homelander or nah? Like, what's good? Like, what the fuck? Like, are they not, are they going to team up now or some shit? So, okay. That's cool. That's, that's just our luck. And it's not like Huey and Butcher can take the V because they're going to die next dose. You know? All right. So I apologize for being a fucking moron, but okay. So now we know Soldier Boy is Homelander's dad. I did rewatch the scene really quick with the context of knowing it's his dad. And it's like, okay, it does make sense what he was saying now. Like when he said he beat his meat, he beat his meat into a cup. I thought he was just making some like corny ass 1950s joke. 
something like that, you know, like he always does. But no, like he he nutted into a cup for Vogelbaum to take the genetics and mix it and have a kid or whatever, right? Okay, so that makes a lot more sense now. But, and Soldier Boy did say, if you just kept me around, I would have let you take the spotlight. If Soldier Boy got to raise him as his own kid, he would have just let him take the spotlight eventually. But no, but now I think... But now, like, the only hope I really have for them not teaming up is that Soldier Boy wants to stay number one, and Homelander has to be conditionally number two on the roster, and there's no way Homelander's doing that, so they might still fight over that. Who's number one? That's my only hope right now. That's the, my only, only hope. <laughs> Their egos are just too big for them for, for either of them to be number two. They both have to be number one, so hopefully they fight because of that. All right, so that was a pretty sus move by Butcher there at the end. I guess he didn't tell Huey about the compound or the, the temp B, just because you know he knows we, we're gonna need more in order to kill Homelander. And I mean, like, shit, I don't know exactly how many times they've taken it so far each. I want to say Huey's at like three or four. I want to say Butcher. I want to say Butcher is like at five exactly now. So, um, yeah, if they take one more, they're gonna die. And. I guess that's just like how desperate Butcher is to kill Homelander, but like, you know, you know, it's not a guarantee that if we take it and we fight him again, we're going to win. I don't know. Is Butcher, Butcher's willing to risk that though, it seems like, you know, but and he's even willing to risk Huey for that when, I don't know, I feel like Huey should be able to make his own decision on that. <sighs> but he didn't tell Huey because he knows Huey would probably not take it anymore. You know, the next dose could mean killing you, so. That just contradicts everything he saw in that dream nightmare sequence right there. Like, how much he technically betrayed Lenny. He's doing it again to Huey. Like, did he not fucking learn from that? Like, he seems like he regretted it so much, you know? But now he's kind of doing the same thing to Huey. So it's like Butcher's own selfishness getting in the way again of the people he loves. I guess that's just who Butcher is. Yeah, with Queen Maven going back to the beginning of the episode, he's going to take her eggs and try and reproduce and have the ultimate superhero son. You know, he did say he'd be more powerful than Ryan because, you know, Homelander's a soup, but Becca is just an, a mere mortal. So if it was Maeve and Homelander's genetics together, then that, that kid would be absolutely insane. So... He's trying to make an offspring, make a little army, you know? It's gonna take a while to get here, though, so. And then I like that. I like the scenes we got with Nora in this episode. You know, he's really confronting his demons. Like, he's so scared of Soldier Boy, but he knows he has to confront them. I'm just worried that if he does confront them, he's going to die. And I really don't want him to die. I think it would be really good, though, if, like, Soldier Boy does die and Nora's the one to do it because, you know, it seems like Nora took the most, like, trauma from him. And so it would probably be the most satisfying way for Soldier Boy to die. But I don't want Nora to get in the way of him killing Homelander. You know, honestly, I, I kind of don't think anyone really is going to die in the next episode. The next episode is the finale. I could see Nora dying. I could see Soldier Boy dying. I can't see Homelander dying. I can't see Butcher dying. I can't see Huey dying. You know, I can see Nor and Soldier Boy dying, though. Just because Nor is more of like a side character. He's not like a main character which sucks but then like with soldier boy i can see him dying because he kind of just got introduced so they can kind of just off him you know it won't change the show too much if they did so yeah and then starlight completely exposed homelander with her instagram live but then it's just gonna be like a media battle like oh no she's lying and this is fake blah blah like and todd the stepfather to Marvin's daughter. It's like people like that who are just insanely brainwashed will never believe it. They're only going to believe Homelander. So it's like, all right, whatever. So I don't think it really, it really will affect Homelander too much. He'll lose points for, for like a little bit, but for the most part, nah. But anyways, that was The Boys Season 3, Episode 7. Comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.